In this video, we're going to take a look at the union and the intersection of sets. So by definition, the union of sets A and B will be all of the elements that are in A or B. Now the keyword here is or, so union or. So that means that all of the stuff that belongs to A or B will be called the union. So if I've got a point that's just in A, that's okay. That's part of the union of those sets. If I've got something that's in here, that's fine because they're either A or B. And if I've got some data that's in here, that's fine too because that's A or B. If I have something out here, that's not going to count because that doesn't belong to A or B. So remember that union is A or B. And the notation that we use for that is this. A union B. So A union B. A or B. The intersection of sets A and B are all the elements that are in both A and B. So that would be these things right in here. This would be the intersection. And that makes sense because these two circles are intersecting or overlapping right at those points. So the keyword there is and, A and B. They have to belong to both sets. That would be the intersection. And it's denoted like this. A and then it's like an upside down U. The way I kind of remember that is this upside down U, if you just did a little stick across here, it would, it would spell the letter A. And that, remember, that helps me remember that it's A and B. But the stick is not there. It's actually like this. So A intersect B or A and B is what that means. So just again, the union means all of the elements or all of the data that's in A or B. So we want all the stuff in all the circles. And if we're asked to find the intersection of A and B, then we want the points that are in both or the overlapping part, A and B. Let's look at a few examples. Let's consider this example here. So they got the cards up again here. Um, the deck of cards, and so C is clubs. These cards, diamonds are D, H is hearts, S is spades, and we'll say R represents all the red cards, and B represents all the black cards. So let's start with a fairly simple one here. Um, the number of C, so the number of clubs. The number of clubs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so 13 cards. So the number of clubs is 13. So now let's get into our unions and intersections. So here we want the number that are in D, union, so union means or, so D or S. So D are the diamonds, that's these cards, or S, which are the spades. So how many cards are diamonds or spades? Well, we've got 13 there and we've got 13 there, so that's a total of 26. Diamonds or spades, we'll take either of those. Now here's one where we're looking for the number of C, so the number of clubs, and, or the intersection, the number of diamonds. So I want all the cards, the cards have to be a club and a diamond. So I want cards that are clubs and diamonds. Well, hold on, there's no card, that's impossible. There's no cards that are clubs and diamonds. You're either a diamond or you're a club. So this would be zero. If we were doing a Venn diagram of these cards, you could see that the clubs and the diamonds and the hearts and the spades are all mutually exclusive. They're separated, they're disjointed sets. So there's no way that a card can be a club and a diamond at the same time, or a heart and a diamond, or a spade and a club. So that the number of those is zero. There are no cards that are both clubs and diamonds. Let's check this one out. We want the number of the things, number of cards that are B. So B are black cards. So I want black cards um, or hearts. And then this tick mark means not 
black cards are hard. So let's just see here. Black cards. So that's all of these. There's all the black cards. Or the hearts. So these would be all the hearts. So if the question was like this, let's get rid of that tick mark. If it said, let's find all the black cards or the hearts, that would be all of these cards. But this has a tick mark here, which means we, we want the complement of that. We want the opposite of that. So that's just a fancy way of saying we want all the diamonds, because they're the only cards that are left. So there's 13 cards that are not black or hearts. So the number of cards that are not black or hearts are 13. Here we want the number of cards that are red and diamonds. So all the red cards, that's these ones, and they have to be diamonds. Well, that means they have to be those cards right there. So the number of cards that are red and diamonds would be 13. Let's look at another example. Okay, Frank. Frank surveyed his class of 30 people, 30 students, to see who liked skiing or snowboarding. He found that 8 people skied, 9 people snowboarded, and 4 people did both. How many people did not ski or snowboard? So let's set this up with a Venn diagram. I'll draw a box here to represent the class. I'll draw a couple of circles here. I'll make this one uh, skiing and this one boarding. And so he found that eight people skied. So there were eight people in the skiing circle. And there were nine people in the snowboarding circle. And there were four people here who did both. And what we've got to do is figure out how many people did not ski or snowboard when we know this whole box includes 30 people. Okay, so let's figure out how we would do this. Um, when we count the eight here, so when we just did this, the skiing circle, that's all of these people right here. So we've just counted everybody in this circle. So that's eight people taken care of in this class. Plus, now we're going to count all the people in the, the snowboarding one. That's this circle right here. So that's nine people in the classroom. The problem is, is we've just counted these people here twice. So we caught those four people when we did the skiing circle. And when we added the nine people in the boarding circle, we've just overlapped this area twice. So we need to take away four students because we've already counted those people here. They were part of the skiing group. So eight, this circle here, plus nine, which was this whole circle, minus four, so there's really only five people that are in this part of it. So eight plus nine, minus four, plus the people that are not part of those circles, those sets, has to be a total of 30 people in that, in that classroom. So let's work this out. Eight plus nine is 17. 17 minus four is 13. So 13 plus x is 30. We would minus 13 from both sides. A little bit of simple algebra here. And we would get 17. So there's 17 students who did not ski or snowboard. That would be the people that are outside of those two, those two sets. Let's look at another example. All right, I go group of 50 grade 12 students. 24 are taking a fine arts course. 30 are taking an applied skills course. Six are taking neither. Two questions here. How many would take a fine arts or an applied skills course? And how many would take both an applied skills or a fine arts course? So let's do our Venn diagram here. Uh, let's do uh, F for fine arts. Let's do A for applied skills. So we know there's 24 in here. That's in the fine arts circle. There's 30 that's in the applied skills circle. And there's six that are not doing either. And this total box is 50. Okay, so the first question is how many would take a fine arts or an applied skills course? So what we're looking for here is F um, or 
um, A. So F union A. Well, the easiest way to do this one is we know that there's six that are not in these circles. And remember the union is the people that are in this circle. So this would be F union A. So if there's six that aren't in there and there's 50 that's totaled, the easiest way to find that is to simply go 50 minus six, which is 44. So 44 students are taking either a fine arts or an applied skills course. That would be F um, or A. The next ones are going to be a little bit more work. How many would take both? So we're looking for this area in here. Well, so that would be F and fine arts and an applied skills. F intersect A, so this one here. So, well, let's count them. So 24. In this whole, if we look at this whole situation of students here, 24 would be all of these people right here. Let's call this little area in here X, because we don't know what that is. We're trying to figure that out. So 24 is this whole circle here. That's all of the F people, all the fine arts people, 24 of them. Plus all of the 30 people here, which is all of the people in this circle. And look, we just counted these guys twice. We counted them in the F, and we counted them again in the A circle. So we can't count students twice, so we'll minus that. So 24 plus 30 minus X, because we counted them twice, plus the six people that aren't part of those two sets is a grand total of 50. And what this has done is it's given us an equation now with X in it. And that's what we need to find is that, that magic number there, both, both sets. So 24 plus 30 is 54, minus x plus 6 equals 50, 54 plus 6 makes 60, minus x equals 50, and then I can add x to both sides to get that positive, and finally minus 50 from both sides to isolate x. X is 60, take away 50, which is 10. So there's 10 students um, in here that are taking both a fine arts and an applied skills course. So that's how uh, we can use Venn diagrams to help us find um, unions and intersection points of our sets.